We're here at Memorial Hospital with Tony Zerbrug. Say it for me, Tony. Zerbrug, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Zerbrug, that's a good East Texas name, a good Shelby County name. Uh, but anyhow, we came down here today to show you a little bit about uh, the hospital and some things that are going on. And uh, Tony, share with us a little bit. This is the entrance where people normally come in the hospital, right? That's correct, Buster. This is what we call the main entrance to the hospital although I'm sure many people uh, use our side entrances for convenience. Well, now the emergency room's on the other side. That's correct. And the doctor's clinics are over here to That's give right. you some orientation. Right. So give us a little something about the hospital. I'll operate the camera. Okay, mighty fine. Well, I think as most people that have been in Shelby County for any period of time know that the hospital has been uh, in the community for approximately 20, 26 years. It was founded by uh, three of our local physicians, uh, including Dr. Hooker and Dr. Mallory, who are still in practice and uh, several local businessmen. Uh, Park Healthcare has owned the hospital since 1983 and has made a significant commitment uh, to the hospital. So why don't we go on inside and see w what we've done there uh, in the last few weeks. We're now in the lobby of the hospital. We've just stepped inside the main front doors. Um, here to my right is a site plan for the hospital showing the uh, placement of our buildings on our 4.2 acre campus. Uh, of course, the main hospital is, is located here. And to the south of the hospital, we have a number of our physicians that are officing on the Memorial campus. Well, let's get a view around the lobby, if that's all right with okay. you. Would you like to walk around with Sounds me a little bit? Good. This is our lobby, of course, which we're very proud of. Uh, provides a uh, home-like atmosphere for uh, patients and family and visitors that are coming to our hospital for their health care needs. Okay, let's see something else. Very good. Let's continue on with our tour. Okay, we're now on the medical surgical unit of uh, Memorial Hospital of Center and I'm going to take you down uh, the west wing and show you a semi-private room that has recently been upgraded. Now, Tony, before you leave, uh, what's that immediately behind you there? Okay. It looks pretty busy back there. Absolutely. That's the nerve center. That's our nursing station for the medical surgical floor. And this is where the nurses uh, organize their activity, where they interact with physicians, where they uh, chart the, uh, the care plans for the, for the patients that are in our hospital. Good. Now, give us some orientation. Which way is the emergency room? OK. The emergency room would be located directly down this hall which is moving in a northerly direction, and we'll see that department in just a few minutes. All right, where are you going to take us now? Okay, we're going to go to room 102, which is a typical semi-private room on our medical surgical floor. Let me show you what we've done in the way of upgrades. This is room 102 with accommodations for two patients, as you can see. Okay. And this room has had a cosmetic, uh, an aesthetic upgrade. Uh, all the walls have been uh, repainted, uh, retextured, re-wallpapered, uh, some new furnishings. We feel it's a very uh, pleasant and very uh, uh, delightful environment for patients to recuperate and to convalesce in while they're in our hospital. Okay. Buster, we're now, uh, we've now left 102, which was a typical semi-private room on the west wing of the medical surgical floor, and we're now on the east wing. And I now I'm going to take you to room 126, which is our upgraded private room, and show you what we've done in that area. I might also uh, invite your attention to the clean, updated look on the main corridors of this unit, where we've completely uh, redone the wall surfaces. We have new handrails for the convenience and safety of our patients. So let's go now to room one. Well, wait a minute, Tony. You just brought my attention to something I didn't notice before. Okay. Where's the carpet? <laughs> we have no carpet. <laughs> well, we, there used to be carpet here, and you know I like this floor better. Yes, it's a lot easier to take care of. It's a lot more hygienic and a lot easier to maintain. Well, that's and, good. And we, can, take, we can buff it. <laughs> and you're going to take us down to the, to the private room. To the now. private room, right. All right. Room 126. Room 126. Hey, this is pretty nice. Yes, this is, is that. A, that's not the typical chair that I used to sit in when I came to the hospital. Well, that's our Lazy Boy special. 
this is our uh, deluxe private room. Uh, we've got some nice uh, furniture here, some nice antique uh, type furniture. This is a uh, has a uh, television and a uh, VCR in it, so uh, movies can be uh, oh. can be brought in. We're gonna tear it up. <laughs> A little hard, but uh, also well, I guess it goes back in the cabinet. That's right. We also use this this equipment for patient teaching, which is a, a great help. But we're real proud of this room. It's typical of our uh, deluxe private rooms. Well, Tony, let let's go ahead and get to the bottom line. Okay. Now, does it cost a lot more to have a private room? Yes, it, there will be a, a little uh, surcharge there for the private room. Uh, some insurance plans cover this. Uh, some do not. Uh, certainly, there are instances when this is medically necessary can be uh, specified by the by the patient's physician. How many private rooms do you have? I believe we have about six. Ooh, how nice. Yeah. That's really good. You know, when you really are sick, you you hate to have someone listen to you being sick and looking at you being sick by sharing a room. So it is kind of nice to have a private room for people that, that don't enjoy having a, a roommate at, at that particular time. That's right. There are a lot of potential patient incompatibilities in terms of sex, in terms of age, in terms of personal habits. So when we put two people together, we have to consider all those factors. Uh, in the past, when uh, hospitals permitted smoking, uh, that was always a problem of having a patient that wished to smoke and one that didn't, uh, potentially occupying the same room. But now we've gone totally smoke-free in the hospital, so we don't have to uh, be concerned with that problem anymore. Well, fantastic. Where do you want to take me next? Okay, we're going to take you over to the nursery and to the uh, obstetrical department and show you what we have to offer there. Hey, nursery, my favorite place. You got babies? Uh, we may have a couple. Hey, we'll good. Go take good. a look. Let's go look. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're now we're now outside the nursery. Uh, the. Uh, oh, where are the babies? I don't want to see you. Well, we we must have had a light day. I don't see <laughs> any babies in the nursery right now, but uh, we deliver about fifteen. Uh, 15 babies a month here and uh, we're hoping that that number is going to increase over time and I have one of my colleagues here Sharon Nelson who's a registered nurse and is one of our uh, members of our nursing administration and she's been with us for a while and has a, a history that goes back with Memorial Hospital a number of years and of course as many of you know her father's Dr. Hooker. Well Tony you don't medicine. have to introduce Sharon to us. Okay. We all know her. You all know her and love her just like I do. So <laughs> That's good. We're, Glad that she uh, was in the area as we came by the nursery and wanted you to meet her and know well. that she's a part of our team. All right, no babies. Where are you okay. going to take me next? We're going to go down. In spite of the fact we don't have any babies in the house right at this moment, I am going to show you the obstetrical unit. All right. Okay, let's go. We're now on the uh, obstetrical unit of Memorial Hospital. As you might have noticed, uh, we've changed color schemes and we've come out of the blue, the, the cadet blue uh, decor, and we're now into kind of a dusty rose which we think is real pretty and really uh, accentuates uh, the mood back here. But, but wait a minute, does that have any effect on which sex baby we're going to get at Memorial Hospital? This is pink, Tony. This right. is pink. But we had the blue, so see, we're covered. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Where, where to now? All right, we're going to go back here, back and show you a typical room on the uh, postpartum unit. A postpartum, that's a fancy word for? Right. After delivery. After delivery. Okay. Is this for the mother or for the kids? Or? This, is, this is for the mother. And uh, this happens to be a semi-private. We can also uh, make accommodations for women that would like to have a private room. But this is typically uh, where they would come after the baby was, uh, was delivered. Uh, more and more the uh, stays after the delivery of the baby are becoming shorter and shorter with improved medical practice and technique. Uh, that can be anywhere from probably one to three days. Uh, on a normal delivery, if it's a cesarean section, they'll probably stay maybe a day or so uh, longer than that, and depending on how the mother is healing uh, from that surgical procedure. Well, Tony, let's get down to the real important stuff. How's the food, and and is the TV good? The TV and the food is very good. Uh, of course, we're always looking to improve. We're always welcoming comments from our customers and people that uh, are utilizing our facility. So uh, please rest assured we'll always receive comments in a constructive form. Great. I'm one of my very favorite people. Marsha McSwain, you didn't know that, Marsha McSwain, class of 62, and although she looks younger than me, she's not. But you think of her as the x-ray technician, right? She's more than an x-ray technician, Buster. She's a director of radiology at our hospital. She's been associated with our hospital for a number of years. I won't 
I won't indicate how many, but uh, we're real proud of her and her accomplishments over that period of time. We're now standing in the main uh, radiology room. This is equipped for radiographic as well as fluoroscopy, and we do a lot of work in here every day. No, no, we don't. Marcia does. That's right. But we're, but we're a team. You see? We're a team at Memorial. We support one another, and that's how we're going to be from now on, and we have been for a long time. In addition to basic radiography and fluoroscopy, we also offer mammography services at Memorial. We also offer ultrasound. We've got uh, state-of-the-art equipment in ultrasound and also in uh, CAT scan. And perhaps we'll have a chance to see those as we continue our tour. Well, great. And we are very pleased with the equipment that you've purchased and, and the community should be pleased because you, you have some good stuff down here. Well, we think so. And as I've indicated earlier in the interview, uh, we want to pride ourselves not only in our technology, but in what we call high touch. We think that's where we make a difference because we can deliver more personalized care to our patients than we believe is the case at a much larger uh, medical center in a far off city. We are outside of uh, the Memorial Emergency Room. This is the uh, covered ambulance entrance where uh, the paramedics and EMTs bring patients when they need to come to the ER when they're uh, badly injured or hurt. And with me is Martha Colbreth, who's our uh, Director of Nursing, and she has an extensive amount of background in emergency services and emergency nursing. And we're gonna uh, invite her to come along and comment uh, as we take our tour through the emergency department. So if I'm hurt or sick and feel like I have a, an emergency, uh, or a, what's that word, trauma? That's yes. right. This is a trauma center. <laughs> it can be under certain circumstances, trauma uh, indicating the most severe type of injury. But I come here and I park in the place that says no parking and uh, come trip, tripping in this door and I'll find somebody to help me inside. That's right, Buster. We have a, an emergency physician on duty at all times, 24 hours a day, plus a full complement of nursing personnel to work with and back that physician up. Of course, we also have lab and x-ray available around the clock, so we're fully prepared and geared up to take care of any patient need that might arise. Well, let's go inside okay. and see how those doors work. Sounds good. I hope none of you ever need to come down here, but if you ever do, that's the way. We're inside the building now. This is all new. I, I don't remember seeing this new waiting room. What, what's going on back here? Okay, Buster, that's right. We've, uh, we've added a small addition uh, to the waiting room. Uh, this was done about a year or so ago, and this provides a more uh, complete waiting area for uh, patients, family, and visitors while someone is undergoing emergency treatment. So we're very proud of this area. Well, show us the ER. Okay, let's go. And through these doors, we ought to find somebody to help us. Hey, a real trauma, a yeah. real trauma bed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna defer to my colleague here since now I'm in her domain. And maybe she can tell us briefly uh, what we see here. Well, in this uh, particular room, we have lots of equipment to handle most any of your needs that you may need. We have a heart monitor with the equipment that goes with that, and naturally medicines and equipment in the cart there. There's oxygen on the wall. We have some uh, IV supplies over here. Um, we have some uh, different items over here. So we can meet your basic needs uh, from a very minor complaint uh, to a very uh, life-threatening one here in this particular room. Well, you know, this is, a, this is a really nice emergency room. You've got wallpaper on the wall, and it's a very pleasant place. It looks like it's all business, but it's well, it's tastefully decorated, too. Thank you. We think so. <laughs> well, good. About how many emergencies come through here a day or a week? Uh, the average, I think, is about uh, 650 to 700 per month. Wow. It's, about what we're seeing at this point. Well, that's uh, uh, an important number. This is really a hot spot for the community. Yes, it is. Uh, can I ask you a terribly embarrassing question? How many of those folks were truly emergencies and how many just came by because, well, they didn't know where else to go? Well, I really don't have that information with me at this point. <laughs> I would think probably uh, most of them, it's probably a 50-50, most of them need medical attention, all of them need medical attention, but some of them need it more urgently than the others. Well, you know, after hours, you're the only place open in town. That's correct. So, kind of a monopoly, I guess. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, thank you. Okay. Hey, Tony, I, this all looks pretty new back here. Uh, this is, is this new for us? What, what do we got here? This is the CAT scan uh, department of Memorial Hospital. We're very proud of this area. This is uh, some of the high technology that we've brought into the hospital in recent years. Uh, this particular unit was installed uh, this past summer. It's a Technicare 2060 uh, CAT scanner. This gives us uh, a very high level of diagnostic capability. We can do cross sections of the anatomy. As you can see uh, on the screen right now, we have the cross section of the, of the brain. And what's this? Uh, what's this business in here? Is that where you make the picture? Okay, this is the this is the real uh, part of the operation. This is the gantry uh, and the uh, table for the uh, for the patient to lie on, and their body, any part of the body that we're scanning, will go back through the bore of the machine. It'll raise up slightly, and the apparatus goes around the patient. And does it hurt? The day. No, it does not. No pain, huh? No. Totally and painless. what it'll do is take x-rays? Images. Images. They're not x-rays anymore. No. Images of the patient. I see. Right. Well, this looks pretty high tech. Yes, it is. We're, we're glad that we can offer this technology uh, to center. All right. We're now back out in front of the hospital where we began our tour a few minutes ago. What we've tried to do today is to show just the high points of the total facilities and services of Memorial Hospital. Of course, as we noted in the earlier part of the show, we have satellite operations of our home health department on Highway 7 North. We also have our outpatient physical therapy clinic on Austin Street off of the square and our rural health clinic, which is located south of the hospital going toward San Augustine. So we're very proud of all the offerings of Memorial Medical Center of Center, and we certainly invite you and your family and friends to avail yourself of our services at any time uh, as you have need. Well, great. Thank you for the interview, Tony, and uh, uh, good luck, and I hope you enjoy your stay in center. I'm sure we will. Thank you, Buster.